हेलो फ्रेंड आई एम मेरू गोंडलिया एंड यू आर वाचिंग स्कूल ऑफ फिजिक्स फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल स्टडी अबाउट डायरेक्ट लेट्स कंडीशंस लेट्स स्टार्ट फूरियर सीरीज एफ एक्स इक्वल टू इन एक्सपांडेड फॉर्म इट इज एफ एक्स इक्वल टू हेयर cos एन एक्स एंड साइन एन एक्स आर पीरियडिक फंक्शंस विथ पीरियड टू पाई देर फॉर एफ एक्स इज ऑल्सो पीरियडिक फंक्शन विथ पीरियड टू पाई सपोज एफ एक्स इज ऑफ दिस टाइप देन द फंक्शन इन इंटरवल माइनस पाई टू पाई इज रिपीटेड इन इंटरवल पाई टू थ्री पाई थ्री पाई टू फाइव पाई एंड सो ऑन एंड ऑन आइधर साइड इन इंटरवल माइनस पाई टू माइनस थ्री पाई माइनस थ्री पाई टू माइनस फाइव पाई एंड सो ऑन दैट इज फंक्शन एफ एक्स इक्वल टू एफ ऑफ एक्स प्लस टू पाई इट मीन्स इट इज पीरियडिक फंक्शन नाउ द क्वेश्चन राइज इज विच कंडीशंस आर नेसेसरी फॉर ए फंक्शन एफ एक्स टू फाइंड इट्स फोरियर सीरीज The answer is given by Dirac-Lat in form of Dirac-Lat's conditions. These are for a periodic function f x. f x has finite number of finite discontinuities, and f x has finite number of extreme values, that is maxima and minima. Then it is represented by Fourier series. These two are known as Dirac-Lat's conditions. I would like to explain certain words which is useful to understand Dirac-Lat's conditions. Continuity. Suppose a function is given as. Consider a period minus pi to pi. It is observed that function is continuous within this interval. There is no break. Or consider period zero to two pi. Here also the function is continuous without any break or jump. So it is called continuous function. Finite discontinuity. In this figure, the function f x is discontinuous because the function f x is jumps. At point x equal to zero, from minus one to one, and it jumps at point x equal to pi, from one to minus pi. It means function is not continuous. There are two discontinuities in the interval minus pi to pi. That is, function has finite number of discontinuities. Infinite discontinuities. Consider a function of this type. It has also two discontinuities per period. But the magnitude of discontinuity is infinite. Consider interval minus pi to pi, where at point x equal to pi by two and minus pi by two, the function tends to plus minus infinity. It means function has finite number of infinite discontinuity finite number of extremes assume a periodic function with period 2 pi given as figure shows that there are two extremes in a period consider period minus pi to pi at point x equal to 0 fx has minimum value and at point x equal to pi f x has maximum value it means function has two extremes one maxima and one minima it means function has finite number of extremes consider another periodic function as shown in figure in interval minus pi to pi it has two maxima and two minima there are total four extremes in a period it means function has finite extremes 
infinite number of extremes. Consider one more periodic function lying in interval minus pi to pi function has infinite number of maxima and minima. Actually to resolve the picture clearly we draw less number of extremes. But if it is infinite in number then we called function has infinite number of extremes. So in conclusion I say that a periodic function fulfill the Dirac-Lett's conditions is called piecewise monotonic or piecewise regular function. Hence we say that a piecewise monotonic periodic function is expandable in Fourier series. Friends, in next video we will study about Fourier series with period 2L. Write your suggestion in comment box. Please like and share the video and subscribe my YouTube channel School of Physics. Thanks.